Is your car leaving you stranded on the side of the road because of a faulty battery or alternator? Well, in this video, we're gonna fix that. And we're gonna show you a real quick and easy way to test it using a standard fluke meter. Now I am using the T5 600, which means it's good for up to 600 volts, but you can use any type of voltmeter at all. This test will work on any car as long as you have access to the battery terminal posts. I'm gonna be doing this test on my 2012 Chevy Cruze and I just wanna show you when you pop the hood, you're going to look at this and you're gonna see that you have your positive battery terminal here and you have your negative battery terminal over there. I also want to point out that you only want to do this test for the battery because we're going to check the battery first with the key off, all your accessories off, so the battery is in its full rest position. There's no electricity being pulled or drained from the battery at all. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our voltmeter and put it on volts. This particular meter will automatically switch from AC to DC. Then we're going to take our leads, you should have a red lead and a black lead, and put them on the battery. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the black on the negative and you're going to put the red on the positive positive. and what we're looking for voltage wise is we want to see somewhere above 12.4 volts so we're looking for anything above 12.4 but we don't want it to be above say 13.2 um, anyway let's put this on there and as you can see on the meter it is at 13 volts dc so we know our battery is doing good but now Let's check the alternator. If you have an older car from the 70s, the easiest way to check your alternator is to just simply remove the positive terminal while the car is running. But sadly, with newer cars, this being a 2012, they have such sophisticated computer systems that it'll either mess up your computer system or it could do other possible harm to your car. So I never, never recommend removing any of your cables while the car is running. Again, that was an old trick for cars that were like pre-70s and earlier. Anyway, let's get the car running because to check the alternator, you have to have the car running. So let's start the car up. Okay, we have the car running. Now again, we're going to put our leads on the terminals. So we've got our red on our positive. I'm trying to make it to where you can see the display. And then our black on our negative. And you can see that we have 15 volts on the meter, so that tells us that our alternator is good as well. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and we'll see you next time on Bevan's Builds.